Hello everyone and welcome to our online messy church. I hope you've had fun with the activities from your craft packs, which are all linked to an important festival in the church year called Pentecost, which I'll explain in just a moment. Now today is a reasonably warm day, so it's nice to be able to feel the wind on my face. Can you see it? Can you see the wind blowing on my face? Well, why not? Because the wind is invisible. It's definitely real, but you can't see it. But I'm going to help you to see the wind today. How am I going to do that? You might ask. Well, like this. Because this windmill is just the right shape to catch the wind, and because it's pointing in the right direction, the power of the wind is turning it around. Now, for those of you wondering, how come the wind is blowing inside Gavin's house? The wind is actually coming from a fan plugged in just behind the camera, which means that you can't see it. But the invisible wind is having a visible effect on my windmill. So even though you can't feel the wind on your face like me, because you're watching on a screen, you can see the effects, can't you? Especially if I do this. Sometimes we might think, why can't I see God? Is God really with me if I can't see God? After Jesus had risen from the dead at Easter, he spent a few weeks with his friends and then went back to heaven and disappeared from their sight. But before he went, he promised them that he'd always be with them, even when they couldn't see him. He promised that he would send them the Holy Spirit. And a little while later, when they were all together, there was a noise that sounded like a rushing wind as the Holy Spirit arrived on the day we call Pentecost. Some people also said they saw what looked like flames of fire over the heads of the friends of Jesus. The Holy Spirit helped the friends of Jesus to know that God was with them, even though they couldn't see God. And the Holy Spirit helped them to do the things that Jesus had taught them and to tell others about God's love so that others could see that God was at work, so that others could know that God was with them. They saw the effects of the Spirit in the friends of Jesus. So the next time you see someone being kind, the next time you see someone helping others, the next time you feel the love that other people show you, I believe that what you're really seeing and feeling is the effects of the wind of God's Holy Spirit. The effect of God being with us and God's amazing love at work in our lives today. Your love is amazing, steady and unchanging. Your love is a mountain from beneath my feet. Your love is a mystery, how you gently lift me when I am surrounded. Your love carries me. Hallelujah, 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 your love makes me sing. Hallelujah, 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 your love makes me sing. Your love is surprising, I can feel it rising, all the joy that's growing deep inside of me. Every time I see you 